Well, emotions are still running incredibly high here at House of Oliver as people have been coming by all day long to drop off flowers, balloons, hang up ribbons, and just share their stories of how Vita has touched their lives. It's true what they say. The moment we met Vita, she was instantly family. About those working in restaurants. And she was one of those that helped make House of Oliver, House of Oliver, and more than just a restaurant, but a community and a family. As shattered glass and bullet holes remain outside of House of Oliver, where a 51-year-old server, Vita Joga, was shot and killed Monday. The owner, Matthew Oliver, is choosing to remember her legacy. And she'd be frustrated that we were closed for one day. She wouldn't want one moment of darkness to dim the beautiful color that was Vita. He says he played a role in helping Vita file a restraining order against her ex-fiance, the suspected shooter. We knew that this was not a good individual. But sadly, it wasn't enough for her friend, Lisa Fine Cavelli, who knew Vita long before she started working here seven years ago. This hits much too close to home. When I survived the Vegas shooting, she was comforting me for years. And for her to be gunned down, there are no words. I can't believe she's gone. She says even though bullets were six inches from her head in Las Vegas four years ago, attending a country music festival, this feels worse. To have one of my close friends be gunned down for nothing because of a domestic problem, it, it's just unheard of. I can't believe somebody would take her life. Placing a butterfly balloon in front of the restaurant in honor of Vita, who is leaving behind a 16-year-old daughter. Her angel is going to be bright, and we're going to see her in everything that we do. These pink sparkly ribbons have also gone up all around the parking lot of the House of Oliver. One of her coworkers, who actually had the day off yesterday, stopped by just a few hours ago to hang these up because she says pink was Vita's favorite color.